Good morning, MMTs, for being forthright about the reversal on Netflix Live in the first 21 minutes of the opening bell. One of the key factors is, is that from its earnings gap, super gap, is why it would sell down as it is to 374. The high was 389 and 15 cents or so up here. And now we're down. Look at the big reversal. This is the day after the earnings from that gap versus the volatility that, that played out last night in its actual earnings release. This is the morning after. They had marked down the puts. They were $50.50. They were great buys at 1590. They're now 2355. That's because this thing has a huge reversal. So each and this here is a 390 put. It's working nicely off the $19 low. Look at that big move up. 20 of those contracts right there for $5 is $10,000 profit. And that's buying that big markdown at 5570. Then to verify it and to make the transaction is the three minute reversal bars are certainly in play and breaking the previous half bars and then you can see that coming down now this is how it trades on the opening bell we have 22 minutes of price discovery and the time is 6:52 a.m. 10:22 2013 super gap sell gap confirm gap Markdown in the 385 put, markdown across the board, and how that news is coming all the way back down here right now. And it's selling down hard. It is selling down hard. And this is live in the market. And this is how these transactions are done. It's buying these big markdowns. Remember, the put value goes up when that short is working. And it's going to hit the bottom. See, now it's 358. It's given all its gains up from its last night. We had the right trade there. It was a matter of do you want to, can you hold it overnight? Because it really wasn't going to go much ahead of us. Remember what happened last night. They had a $4 print in the bid and ask, and then another $6 print in the actual equity price. That's the equity price. So we are peaking out right now on the put options on that opening bell 25 75 26 85 29 25 30 55 on that 390 look at the 395 and 32 95 by 34 95 look at that two dollar spread 33 20 by 35 that's a dollar 80 wide that thing's going down those put options are rushing to pay and it's a super gap and we've been open 24 minutes in the actual opening bell. And we're just now hitting a little, uh, each one of these failed, of course, and we broke the half bars. So here's that opening bell on Netflix right here. 24 minutes. And we can see how these options have traded across the board. They're all right here, right in front. And we hit a bottom. 55.82 over here on that 390. Guess what? The low was 20.60. Wow. 20 of those contracts for $10 is $20,000. Imagine that. From that deflated entry based on that stock having that reversal the day, the morning after the earnings. And that there's a lot of room to trade both the put side on gaps and the call side when we hit support levels. So we'll examine the call side next of this opening bell and how these transactions can take place and how you can come back and rebound and recover right away. However, there's no problem by letting your first pass go by if you're ever involved and a big after hours earnings report that can be volatile in equity price prints. And what do I mean by that? We have a 15 minute MMT market maker chart on a 15 minute super gap Netflix. Time is 56.57 a.m. And we can clearly see what the 15 minute opening bell sell gap from an earnings the morning after and what that looks like and where it's going in the Delta and how that super gap 
how it breaks it and how you can get in here and once again how the put side 385s 390s and 13, 395s all November regular options period it's all right here it's live we're 28 minutes into the opening bell on that 15 minute look at that look at that sell now at some point we're going to get long the puts got look at where they close 5570 look at where the low 19 look at that 3085 look at this 2980 here what about the 385s how about that one fifty dollars and fifteen cents marked to 1590 look at the value 2580 by 2730 they're tradable there's the 15 minute sell gap this is one form of making a lot of money and recovering and taking advantage of it there's a lot more in the market right now once they've reported the earnings and they make their exhaustion gaps yesterday broad-based selling happened in other names and today netflix from its earnings live at 6 59 a.m 10 22 how to get those wholesale entries in these put options and how to trade the morning after the earnings report and where do the two ranges really come in and we can see that distribution bar on Netflix and it's all volatility but once again it can really pay you an extraordinarily a lot amount of money because it can so we can see that the puts are still going back up in value based on that 15 minute reversal bar within the actual 29 minute opening bell 29 minutes in price and here it is it's still going down it's going to come down and there's going to be a place to get net long but once again we're going to conclude part two of the opening bell of Netflix relative to 385 put 390 put 395 puts deflated markdowns based on gap ups and or gap downs in the actual earnings process and where do these make their markets throughout the rest of the calendar day to the closing bell and what does the deflated call remember the calls were already inflated on the open so those are going to come down in value and we'll, we'll cover that later we'll cover the complete call side of where they went right now this half bar is going to be resistance how to short a bellwether stock Netflix at a hundred percent overbought levels and it's happened on the 21st and today is the 22nd 30 minutes on the opening bell with the short-term bottom put in right now 